by Stamper. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little bib. It's a card. A couple of weeks ago I posted one, a yellow one, on my uh, website and I got many inquire how to do it. Uh, my yellow one is gone so I cannot show it to you but I'm going to show you how to do a pink one today. What you're going to need, you're going to need your die, your big scallop die. You're going to cut two of them. It's many ways you can do with, um, like usually when you do a card, you try to overlap it so you get a place that don't cut to open it up. But this one it's different because we're going to put the neck so um, we, we're going to cut two full uh, scallop. That's why I'm trying to say. After you get your scallop done, you're going to take the one and three quarter punch and we're going to cut out the, whoops, we're going to cut out the neck, make the opening for the neck. And I take about four scallop off. So put it in and you see here I get one, two, three, four. And I don't want nothing left on the sides. So. And if you do both layers at the same time, you have to really put some pressure on it. Here we go. And look, that would make nice little flowers, I think. So you can save them for another project or file 13. After I get this done, see this here? I don't like this and this. So what I'm going to do is just snip this off here and here. If you get two little piece there, don't worry about it. Just snip them off. Okay. And then I took my three and a half circle punch in the die, cut it out with the big shot, and I embossed it with the polka dot uh, folder. When you get that, take this, put your snail in the back. Oops, I forgot a little step in between that, but that's okay. We're going to come here and do it. We're going to take our um, score, and then I'm going to score. The reason why you want to score, I put my two uh, scallop here right on the half inch mark and just score. And then... We're going to take the punch again, turn it around, Oops, it's the one in three quarter. Put this here, try to match it up as close as you can, punch this up. The one that I showed you a couple weeks ago at the brads, and my brads were in between here and it wanted to open and if I put it all the way through I don't like it when you see it in the back. So today I did it differently. I never do a card twice the same way for some reason. I always love a challenge. So now I'm going to lift this up here and put my uh, ribbon right there. Then lift this up here and come and put my ribbon right there. Voila. Now you get this. Very simple. This one, the one for the back, I am not scoring it. It no use of it, so you don't have to. But this here, I want to reinforce my score. This here, if it don't fold, don't worry about it. Here we go. Now, what you're going to need, it's put just snail here or what I like to use for this it's because it's just a tiny little piece and you want it strong so I'm using glue dots. So I'm going to put glue dot there and a glue dot here. Ouch. And then again here. Okay. The glue dot want to stick on me for sure today. Okay now I got the glue dot there. We're going to close our card. Make sure you match it very good. Close. 
close this there. And then you can open it up. And then inside you can put a cute little saying. And then I pre-stamped the bundle, uh, baby bundle. I used the teddy bear and I used bundle of love. And I stamp it first and then cut it with the one and three eight. And then I use my scallop punch, punch a soft suede. I'm going to put the snail there. Attach those two together. And then we're going to put this in the center. This one it's pink, so we could always use glitter, but here we go. You get your little card, your bib card. Hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping.